Okay, this is part two. Okay, previous studies have report, reported that blacks have 10 to 20% more bone density than whites of the same height. Theoretically, this should mean that the lean body mass of black is denser than that of white, such, as, such that formulas, formulas for calculating lean body mass from, dens from density and white will overestimate the lean body mass and those underestimate fatness in black. To determine if the lean body mass of black is indeed dense, denser than that of whites, we measure densities, um, total body body uh, water, and uh, anthropometric dimension, and nineteen white men and fifteen black male, and nineteen white and fifteen male black male college student. See, they did. 19 whites and they only did 15 black men. The black and the white um, cohort were nearly identical in weight, height, and body, and total body um, body water. Among the whites were there was no significant difference between the observation observed dense, density and that predict from from anthropometry anthropometry nor were there any significant differences between the d dimension of body composition calculated from total body water and from ob observed density among the blacks however the observed um, the observed density was significantly greater than that predicted from antro metry and the lean body mass calculated from observed density was significantly greater than that calculated from total body water. The results are consistent with the hydrothesis that the lean body mass of blacks is denser than that of, of the whites. Separating formulas should therefore be Excuse me. Sep separated um, formulas should therefore be used to convert for converting density to body composition. Based on our data, the correct formula for black is um, percentage fat uh, equals a hundred times four point three seven four density uh, uh, minus three. 0.928. The formula indicate that lean body density of 1.113 grams in blacks compare with 1.100 in white. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is this one. Black, this is from the um, ABC thing. Black have less body fat than white. Okay, uh, December, this was um, December 18, excuse me, 18, 20, 2009. Okay, so December 19, Friday, December 18, Health Day News. Blacks tend to carry around less of a particular unhealthy type of abdominal fat than whites. So you hear that? Blacks tend to carry around less of a particularly unhealthy type of abdominal fat than whites, even though they suffer more from obesity linked illnesses, research report. Why do you think we suffer from more from um, obesity um, Ill, um uh link diseases illnesses because it's not the the fat that I told you um I on my previous video is not real fat it's is those um processed food that our bodies can't process so therefore they they um uh 
what's the word? They, uh, pre not pretend, they present themselves as fat and they go into the bloodstream and then you become obese. But, but if, if we stop eating those, oh, those junk food, those processed food, and we eat real food and eat what our father tell us to eat, guess what? We won't have those problems. We will not have those problems. The new findings suggest that body mass index, B, BMI, guidelines may need to be tailored to specific ratio group to better reflect risk, um, expert says. So you hear that? You hear that all this time? They've been confusing us. Oh, I'm bringing some more information for us too. The study clearly shows we have those racial differences in body fat, not just in the type of the body fat, but where the fat is stored. And those and these are important differences, said study author Peter Katz Marzak, a professor of population science at Pen uh, Pennington uh, Biomedical Research Center in uh, Baton, ba Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So at adipose, fat tissue is found throughout the body. I hope I said it right, adipose. Subcutaneous, subcutaneous adipose tissue is found just under the skin. While uh, vascero adipose tissue is found in the abdominal cavity around the organ organs fat settling around the organs has been linked to developing the development of obesity related disease such as um, cardiovascular um, disease and type 2 diabetes according to background information in the article <clears throat> hey, hey. So you guys heard that. Let me read that again because because I think that I, you know, maybe I, I you know, I, adipose fat tissue is found throughout the body. Sub, subcutaneous adipose tissue is found just around, no, just under the skin. While visceral adipose tissue is found and the abdominal cavities, cavity around the organs. Fat settling around the organ has been linked to development of obesity-related uh, diseases such as uh, cardi cardiovascular disease and type 2 di diabetes, according to background information in the article. But you can't tell just by looking at someone how much uh, visceral, visceral, vas, vas, visceral, visceral fat someone has, even a pot belly won't tell you for sure because visceral fat is deep within the body cavity. Um, Katz Merzak said, Katz, Katz Merzak said, in this study, Research used computer th uh, tomogra tomo tomography, CT scan, and dual energy X-ray absorption metro DMX DXA absorb uh, absorb no is absorption metric. I don't know why I thought that was something different. Absorb absorption a metric DX DXA to measure this this visceral visceral fat. Okay, I got I gotta find out um, how to pronounce that. Sorry, you guys, I gotta find out how to pronounce that because I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. I, it could I could be right, but okay. No, is this this cero this cero this 
Visceral. Oh, visceral. Okay, visceral, visceral, visceral fat. Someone has even. Where was that? What was that? Visceral fat and about one hundred and four four thousand white men and women and five hundred and seventy black men and women aged eighteen to eighty four participants high weight BMX and total body fat composition were also measured. So let me read this again. And the study research used computer uh, tomography, tomography, CT scan, and dual energy X-ray absorptionometry DXA to measure uh, visceral visceral fat and about fourteen hundred white men and women and five hundred and seventy black men and women age between 18 to 84 participant high, participant height weight bmx and total body fat composition were also measured as a given body fat percentage black men and women had lower vis visceral fat than white men and women Visceral. Visceral fat than white men and women. Conversely, blacks also ten, tended to have higher subcontinuous sub... I got I to gotta find out too because I, I, I think I'm saying it right, but I could be saying it wrong. Come on. Just bear with me. Okay, sub... Sub... Subcutaneously, subcutaneous, like subcutaneous, 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 subcutaneous fat than white. Researchers control for age and smoking status among other vari variables. The study appeared in January issue of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Clinical Nutrition. Despite the tendency to have less visceral fat, Black Americans are still at higher risk of dying from obesity-related diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular um, disease one oops sorry you guys can't see my face oh, I said it again um where was I one explanation for this is that blacks have higher overall obesity rate overall cats meds Zach said about 30% of white adults and 45% of black adults are obese, according to the study. It's, it's a Pandora, um, it's a paradox, it's a, it's a par paradox, Pandora, it's a paradox, Katz Mazik said. The fact that white individuals have more um, visceral a a dis let me let me find out what that word how you pronounce that word as well let me see wait, wait, wait. have more have so it's a paradox An individual also overall have okay Visceral ad adipose. Visceral adipose. 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 Okay, so I'm saying it right. Visceral adipose tissue and also have lower rates of obesity related diseases is probably because 
because African American have higher rates of obesity overall. Then I, I might it's a is a is a paradox. Um, Cosmeras Mazik said the fact that white individuals have more uh, visceral adipose tissue and also have lower rates of obesity related diseases is pro is probably because African American have higher rate of obesity overall. The finding also bring up the issue of whether the one size fit all BMI guideline apply equally to all races. Um, Katz Mazak said, BMI is a calculation based on height and weight. While a high a high BMI tend to mean you you also have a lot of body fat. BMI is not a direct measurement of fat comp of fat composition of a very muscular person for example may have a high bmi but lower body fat composition yes yes because because i'm very uh, um, athletic and um i was considered um obese um and i had and my muscle mass uh was very high so i had a very high like in the 90s you know um so yet previous research has uh, suggest, suggested that may be racial variation in what cons constitutes a healthy BMI. Diabetes risk for Asian um, start, start to rise at a BMI of about 23. For example, on, um, optimal BMI for Blacks may also vary somewhat. Um, Katz Mezak said, BMI may mean different things to diff for different people, he said. The study suggests we may need to think about oh, excuse me, ethnic specific threshold to identify obesity related health risk. Eric Bailey, a professor at anthropology and public health um, at, at East Carolina University, an author of Food Choice and Obesity in Black American created a new cultural diet, said BMI recommendations were developed using too little data on Black American or other racial and ethnic group. We are using BMI as a gold standard, but it, it needs to be re, um, reassessed. Bailey said, it does not necessarily apply to each and every population in the same way. Our bio biology and ge genetics makeup is, is slightly different. Uh, ours is very different. It's not slightly. It's very different. African Americans may be healthier at a different BMI compared to a European population. Biology aside, Bailey said, there is no question that obesity remains a serious issue in the black community. Poverty can make um, afford fresh fruit and vegetable and a healthier cut of meat more difficult while unsafe neighborhood discourage getting adequate exercise. Now, again, they purposely do this to us because they know that food will destroy us. That's why they do it because they know the food will literally destroy us. So they do that on purpose. So don't, you know, I mean, I get it, but you know, they do that stuff on purpose. They purposely do this because they know our body's different. They know that what our father tell us to eat, that's what we need to eat. And if we don't eat it, they know the dire um, consequences we'll have. That is the reason why we having all those those problems. It's not I have nothing to do with eating meat. It have nothing to do with eating fish or, or, or vegetables, sugar, salt, or whatever. It all have to do with those processed stuff they put in our food that's messing us up because we're not supposed to eat those things, the pork and all that stuff. We need to stay away from it. And then exercise, you know, walk. Uh, let's see. Many times, um, sociolo sociological uh, behavior and cultural issues override the bio bio biological, Bailey said. 
One third of African Americans are still in poverty, and that influence the type of food you are able to eat. Hmm. Those. Hmm. Wow. And uh, sorry, guys. Um, in another, in another study from the same issue, research found that gene variant that have been implicated in tendency in a tendency towards obesity play only a small role in a person's BIM. Previous research in twins has suggested as much as 40% to 80%, 85% of obesity can be blamed on the gene. But the new research show the influence of genetic variant may not may be much smaller. Your gene have nothing to do with you being obesity obese. The reason the reason why they may say the gene have something to do with it is if your parents, if your parents and your grandparents ate bad and then it passed down to gen from generation to generation, it have nothing to do your with your genetic. It have to do with habits. Habits. What habits you pass down, what you know, so called tradition. You pass down to one generation to the next. That's what created. It have nothing to do with, oh, it's, it's in your family to have it. No. It's the type of food that your family, the habits that your family have, eating habits that they have. That's what they pass down to you. That's what's creating the problem. Not your gene. Not, not your makeup. Research at the University of Cambridge look for 12 genetic make, make markers for obesity and more than two, 20,000 participants in the United Kingdom. These with the least one gene make marker were 3% uh, to 14% were more likely to be obese than without the, the marker. Like each additional genetic marker raised the risk of obesity by nearly 11%. But taking together, the genetic variant variation account for only about uh, a one percent variation in um, BIM, meaning the current meaning the currently known marker are poor uh, predictors of who is at risk for obesity, according to the study. Risha said it is possible that other other more important obesity related gene variant may yet be yet to be identified. You ain't gonna find none. So this is all I have for you guys. Um for you guys for um this week. <laughs> I will post um one video and then the next and um uh, and then the next thing I wanna talk to you guys about on the next video is about cell salt or body uh, revelation. I have this book. It's called Rev the um, Revelation of Mineral Salt of the Body to the the Sign of the Zodiac. So the zodiac is very important for us because it it, it determine it tell us what um how our bodies um um uh, will you know whether how we're going to get sick when we're going to get sick and all that so the zodiac is an important part of our makeup of our life is is part of our and it's in our body system you will see that so so all that witchcraft and all that that's the christianity stuff we need to remove that we need to remove ourselves from that and like i said get back to basic and getting back to basic mostly mean that we need to um we need to communicate with our with our father more, we need to um, we need to follow our father's guideline on what we need to eat and how we need to live. Okay, that's what's going to help us out of this one. All praises to the Most High. Thank you for, for for watching and joining me. And please leave your comment if you need any. If there's any information that you need, let me know. Uh, and if you have information to share, I'm open to it. Please. Um, I look forward to communicating, to seeing you guys um, soon. Ciao.